repair. This is huge. Every day, your body damages itself. If you go out and you exercise, what are you doing? You're damaging muscle, right? Okay? So you have to have these things called repair systems that build it up. And in essence, that's what replaces you. So I had a guy come in once, and I measured his cardiac function. And uh, it was absolutely excellent. It was like a 20-year-old. And he said, wait a second. I'm 76 years old. How can I have cardi a heart that's functioning like a 20-year-old? And I said, because you don't. Your heart's only three years old. He says, what do you mean three years old? I said, your heart, literally, every cell in that heart has been replaced over the last three years. Your heart's three years old. If were 20 years old, you'd have a point. You'd need a replacement or something. No, it's only three years old because of repair systems. As one cell breaks down, you replace it with a new beautiful cell. But that's energy dependent. So what's going to slowly happen to your body if you don't make enough energy? It starts falling apart. The repairing aspect, the knees, the hips, the elbows, the whatever, the skin, the wrinkles, you know, the whole thing. It starts falling apart. Thoughts. It's nice to have a thought. But all your thoughts, all your emotions are energy dependent. There's a process in the mitochondria called methylation, which determines all of how, how, your, how your, every neurotransmitter works in your body, every single one, without exception. It's in the mitochondria, and it's energy dependent. Reproduction, digestion, hormones, I mean the whole thing is absolutely energy dependent. So that's how important that is.